Welcome. So what I have here is y equals 1 half times 3 raised to the x. And what I want to do is show you how to graph this um, by kind of using a little bit of a table um, kind of method and just kind of really kind of see what we're going to be getting ourselves into. So we want to be able to see what is, you know, really 1 half going to be doing to this graph as far as on a dilation or a stretch. So I'm actually going to do two different graphs here. I'm actually going to do y equals 3 to the x. And then the graph that we decided to do is y equals 1 half 3 to the x. All right. So in doing this, we need to make sure we look at a table. And again, remember when choosing a table, we're just having our x and our y's. And let's call, oh, I guess I did it twice. All right, so usually what I like to do is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. All right, so we're just going to plug them in. I did y1, y2, because all I'm simply going to do is, again, I think I already graphed y equals 3 to the x, so that's going to be a 1 ninth, that becomes a 1 third, that becomes 1, that becomes 3, that becomes 9. But what about if I multiply each one of these now by 1 half, right? Because that's essentially what I'm doing. You always got to take your base, raise it to your power, and then we multiply by 1 half. So if I multiply each one of these by 1 half, I now have 1 18th, 1 9th, 1 half, and then I have 0 1 half. Um, 3 is going to be 3 halves. And then we have 9 by 1 half is going to be 9 halves. So we know that our transformation of our exponential function without any transformation is going to cross at 0, 1. Right? But now, ladies and gentlemen, what you can see is now when x or um, when x equals 0, I'm now my y value now crosses at 1 half. And when I get over to 3, and or I get up to 2, instead of going up to 9, now I'm at 9 and a half, which would be 1, 2, which would be around 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 4.5. All right, so you can see kind of the difference. What that, done, what that has you know, created now is compressed my graph a little bit farther and pushed down my y-intercept going for there. So we don't always have to create. Um, our parent graph when applying this, but I like to, what I like to do is I always like to, you know, when you're multiplying by another factor, is determine what 3 to the x is, and then do 1 half times 3 to the x. And that's what I did. I plugged in my table for 3 to the x, and then I applied it for 1 half times 3 to the x to find my remaining values. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you graph an exponential with your a as a fraction. Thanks.